Solar cooperatives work to make solar power convenient and affordable to communities. The Mount Pleasant Solar Co-op in Washington, D.C. is a shining example. Our Mount Pleasant group is about 350 families. We solarized our home in 2009 with the first group of 45 solaristas in Mount Pleasant. And we're saving well over $1,000 per year uh, as a result of that. So our bill is about 40% lower. It's a very practical solution to the everyday challenge of paying your energy bills. Effectively like a solar library. Like people come by and they want to know how they can get panels on their house and we can help walk them through that process. We all went to go see an Inconvenient Truth and we were so kind of riled up that we thought that we should just try to do something and then we talked about it a little bit more and then we had this idea, well all these row houses face south, it would be cool if everyone in the neighborhood went solar. We said to the boys, look if we're going to go to all the work to figure out how to go solar, we're going to do the whole neighborhood because it's not worth doing all this work for just one roof. Within the time that we started doing the leafleting and surveys, it became quickly actually pretty clear that people in the neighborhood were interested. And they did this little flyer, do you want to join and fill out how many, what's your electrical usage each month? And they put 12 boxes, one for each month, which was the first time many people had ever even looked at their bill to see how much electricity they use each month. They know how much they pay, but not how many kilowatt hours they use. We did our first sort of big group installation in 2009, and we did 45 houses that year. And now we're up to about 100 roofs, so about 10% of the neighborhood. My roof it has a 2.4 kilowatt solar system. It's a thin fill system, thin film, which just has stickers that peels off the back and just sticks to the roof. It's very easy to install. First thing you need to do is understand your local solar market. So that means whether there's companies, whether there's incentives, whether there's regulation. There's a website called DSIRE, which is the Database of State Incentives for Renewable Energy. And it's a great place to just look up what incentives are available in your state. Get together a group of people and figure out what your goals are. Because different projects can have different objectives. It could be you just want solar on your house and that's it. Or it could be you want to bring jobs to your community, or you want to help your neighbors go solar, you want to save bills, you want to change energy policy. So there's a lot of different reasons to go solar and a lot of different ways to go solar. So it's really important to figure out who you are and who your group is and what your your goals are and your values are. The solar in that way is very special that it's very individualistic and it encourages people to sort of engage a little bit more around them because um, they have a bigger incentive too. So the first lesson that we learned is that the most important thing for us to be successful and to grow and, and to help other people go solar was we had to be able to lobby uh, and get legislation passed that would continue in, to enable people to go solar. So the first law that we passed basically set up a pool of money that would be charged. Everyone that pays a Pepco bill in DC would be charged a little bit more and that would sort of create a pool of money where you could then apply for a grant for a solar project and it would cover a certain amount of whatever watt per like watt you've installed. We've started a national network. The idea of the Community Power Network is to allow groups to find each other and learn from each other. So the idea is you just go to the site, there's lots of resources, um, we collect all the reports and studies, there's a big wiki where you can share your own. The benefit for us is that we're part of something that's really making our community a better place and for the planet. In, in a personal way. I'm producing my own electricity. That's clean electricity. It's not ripping off somebody's mountaintop. It's not filling up the Gulf of Mexico with poisonous sludge. It's good to do, and it's the best thing to do. It makes sense. The technology works. You save the money. There is absolutely no reason not to do it.